In 1719 in the Great Plains, Nehru, a young Comanche woman trained as a healer, dreams of becoming a great hunter like her brother, Tabe. While tracking deer with her dog, Sariai, she witnesses the lights of an alien predator spacecraft, which she interprets as a thunderbird, taking it as a sign to prove herself. At the village, one of their tribe's hunters has been taken by a mountain lion. Tabe says Nehru can come on the search party, but only to help track the cougar and provide medical treatment if they find the hunter alive. They retrieve the wounded hunter and depart, though Tabe stays behind to find and kill the mountain lion. Finding large unusual tracks and a meticulously skinned rattlesnake, Nehru circles back with Paik and finds Tabe. Together the three set a trap for the mountain lion but it kills Paik. Kill Nehru faces off with the big cat on the branch of a tree but, after being distracted by the strange sounds and lights of the predator in the distance, falls and strikes her head. She wakes up in her family home, having been carried back by Tabe. He later returns to the village carrying the dead mountain lion, earning him the title of war chief. Convinced of a greater threat they've never seen before, Nera departs with Sariai. She comes across a herd of skinned bison left to rot on the plains, baffled by the wasteful slaughter, she says a prayer for their spirits. Eventually, she stumbles into a mud-filled bog pit, which nearly swallows her before she escapes. Nehru and Sariai are later attacked by a grizzly bear. As they flee for their lives, the bear is killed by the predator. Giving Nehru time to escape before running into a group of Comanche sent to find her. The predator ambushes and kills the men in combat. While Nehru is caught in a foothold trap, the predator leaves as it no longer sees her as a threat. French voyagers, responsible for slaughtering the bison, come to check their trap, find Nehru, and cage her. Their interpreter, Raphael Adelini, questions Nehru about the predator, whom the Frenchmen have encountered before. When she refuses to talk, the lead voyageur reveals that he has Tabe captive and tortures him before using both siblings as bait for the predator. While tied to a tree, Tabe admits to his sister that she had weakened the mountain lion, enabling him to kill it. The predator kills most of the Frenchmen while Tabe and Nehru escape. Nehru rescues Sariai from the camp and stumbles across a dying Raphael, who teaches her how to use his flintlock pistol, in exchange for medical treatment for his severed leg. Nehru gives him herbs that lowers his heart rate to stanch the bleeding. When the predator arrives, Raphael plays dead, and Nehru realizes that, due to his reduced body heat, the creature cannot see him. After it accidentally steps on Raphael, he screams, and the predator kills him. Tabe arrives on horseback to rescue Nehru. Together they weaken the predator, but it kills Tabe. Nehru flees and finds the surviving lead Frenchman. She knocks him out, severs one of his legs, and gives him an unloaded gun before eating the herbs to lower her heart rate and reduce her body heat, baiting the predator to kill the voyageur. She uses Raphael's pistol to ambush the creature, knocking off its mask, which she has previously seen to hold the targeting system for the predator's spear gun. She steals the device and flees into the woods. 
Nero uses the Frenchman's severed leg to lure the predator into the area with the mud-filled bog pit, where she has positioned the creature's mask so that it targets the pit. Without the mask, the predator is less effective, so Nero injures it significantly before dragging it into the bog. As the predator rises from the pit, it fires the spear gun at Nehru and misses, the projectile homes in on the predator, killing it. Nehru severs its head and paints her face with its glowing green blood. She brings the head and the flintlock pistol back to her tribe. They honor her victory by declaring Nehru as the new war chief. Nehru informs her tribe that it is time for them to move out. <laughs>